Well then, what a result that was for the Cobblers. 4-1 against Portsmouth. What a game that was. Um, I don't know how else to start this video than just saying what a turnaround um, we've seen with, with John Brady. Back-to-back -back win to the Cobblers. We know we didn't score in 2021, you know, three, four games ago. Now we've won two games in the trot on the trot. We hadn't won in 2021 as well. Now we've won two on the trot. We've beaten Portsmouth, a promotion hopeful side, by four goals to one. The first half was probably the best half of football we have seen in a long while. Second half was a bit dull and boring, but four goals is all we needed to get the result. Um, a late penalty goal for Portsmouth was late on, but enough for the Cobblers to win 4-1. Out of the bottom four as well, which is great. We'll be talking about it in this video. Up the Cobblers, what a result for them. Today puts the Cobblers out of the relegation zone. 19th we currently sit, and Ryan Watson masterclass. Six in six for the G. Ginger Gerrard, um, a fantastic free kick on the 20 minute mark, what a free kick, definitely we've got to be up there for goal of the season here at Northampton, uh, then scored another one later on, uh, sorry three minutes later, a uh, fantastic goal from him, um, really in fine form at the moment, you know John Brady's definitely got the best out of Ryan Watson, Fraser Horsfall scored on the 32nd minute from a corner, great header, um, let first, and again, his goal gift on Twitter is fantastic. And then, right before half time, it's either a Sam Hoskins goal or a Ryan Edmondson goal. Um, but what a dink over the goalie, and whether Ryan Edmondson got a touch on it, we're not sure. Um, of course, I'm recording this straight after the game. It does say Hoskins has been given the goal, but of course it can change. Um, but nevertheless, it's a ball in the back of the net. Um, and we go into half time 4 0 against promotion hopeful Portsmouth. What? A shock. I think all Cobblers fans, we were all so shocked. Second half, done and boring, but enough was done in the first half. Uh, a penalty on the 73rd minute by Ellis Harrison gave Portsmouth a consolation goal um, at minimum. Um, to be honest, Portsmouth did probably dominate the second half, but Cobblers did well. We did have a few late chances as well. To be honest, the second half was boring. The first half was what was fantastic. I'm looking at the stats now, and the Cobblers only had 30% possession of the ball and have won 4-1 um, today, which just sums up that you don't need possession to win games. 70% Portsmouth having. McCobbers having seven shots on target compared to Portsmouth three. And it was just such a good game. Brady has got these players playing. They want to play. They care about the club. They've got the desire. They want to play for Brady. We want to stay in League One. The players care. Uh, he's got the best out of so many players. We saw Mark Marshall playing well against MK. Not even in the squad, uh, or not even in the starting 11 today. He's again a player who can come off the bench and make that impact. Players are playing well for him now. And Ryan Watson is on fine form at the moment. Ryan Edmondson is so close to that first goal. He's definitely getting out uh, the best out of him and hopefully that goal will come it might even come uh, if it's uh, given to him probably tomorrow or or uh, on Monday um, but sooner rather than later Ryan Emerson will get the goal that he deserves because he's really playing with a lot of passion at the moment up front always pressing that back line so hopefully he can get a goal but fantastic for the Cobblers let's see what you said on Twitter Action on Twitter then Lewis Camplin says remarkable result Watson and Jones stand out fantastic Lloyd Jones really good um, today and the thing he's been fantastic him and Fraser also have done really well these last two games and Ryan Watson doesn't need an introduction what a five form he is on at the moment Goals galore, and hopefully you can keep doing that uh, in our hope for survival this season. George NTFC says, what a win. Great performance against a decent side. Watson's on fire. Horson was great, and Hoskins and Edmondson, um, decent as well. Sloppy pen, but a great win around it. Well, sloppy pen to give away. Would have been great to get 4-0. It would have been a fantastic clean sheet. But, to be honest, Portsmouth were pressing. <coughs> excuse me. Portsmouth were pressing throughout the game and they were always going to get that goal but to be honest when it was nil-nil it was such a close game and Portsmouth did have the other you know the upper uh, against us and the free kick came out of nothing from Ryan Watson and then Portsmouth really did lose their head and, and I see on Twitter so many people are not happy the Portsmouth fans are not ha happy with Kenny Jackie and maybe this could be his time up at Fratton Park um, you know it's a shame really um but today they were not good enough and I don't think they've been good for the last few games and maybe his time is up now at Fratton Park but it doesn't matter because the Cobblers have got a fantastic win. Again, massive thank you to everyone who did tweet. Again, if you want to be in next video, Cobblers Vlogs on Twitter. Drop us a comment in the tweet. But that brings an end to today's match review. What a result it is for the Cobblers. Honestly, too many words 
to talk about how we are feeling right now. You're probably feeling as much as happy I, as I am. The Cobblers have not only scored four goals in one game, but we have beaten Portsmouth, promotion hopeful Portsmouth. Who would have thought we would have done that uh, a few weeks ago? But fantastic. And John Brady onwards and upwards. Charlton on Tuesday, feeling optimism again. Hopefully we can get a result out of that one again. You'll have your match preview and review it again. A massive thank you to all of our patrons, Adam Page, Luke NTFC, Jason Rodhouse, Mike Fuller, and new uh, Daniel Wiseman recently uh, joined our Patreon. You guys are absolute legends. Honestly, we can't thank you guys enough. The money is going to help me and Matt massively uh, to invest on new cameras, new content, new stuff for the channel. You guys are absolute legends. If you guys want to sign up to our Patreon, all the links will be in the description below. And again, if you are under the age of 18, please remember to ask for a parent or guardian permission. Again, this video is in partnership with Fan of The app is now live. Um, I predicted my team today. There's a little lead at board. I'm not sure where I am in the league, but I'm going to have to check on that again. All the links will be in the description below. And again, massive thank you for all the support we are receiving recently it's been absolutely fantastic with all the live streams matt live streams the reviews the previews all of us are going to massive thank you for you all again you'll have your preview for charlton on monday and of course your review probably an hour after the kick uh, result final result sorry again a massive thank you for all the support drop a like if you haven't already subscribe if you're new and until next time guys i'll see you later bye bye